Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend, or I'll hit you in the face with a brick. What? I can't. I can't say that. Today we'll be discussing bar charts, also known by the monogram OHLC. Each bar on a bar chart represents price performance. These periods could be as long as a year or as short as one minute, depending on the purpose for which the chart is set up. Daily bar charts are the most popular. OHLC stands for the four elements displayed on a typical price bar. There's the opening price, the highest price, the lowest price, and the closing price. The first mark to be formed on a bar will be the opening price. In this particular chart, we're looking at each one of these bars as being a single day's price activity. So you want to look at the very first point, the very first a horizontal line on the left side as being the open. The next part of the chart that will form or the part of the bar that will form will be the lowest point and the highest point. It doesn't have to be in that order. But the highest point would of course be the highest point of the bar here and the lowest point would be the lowest point of the bar here. At some point in the day the day's trading activity will come to a close, will be the very end of the, the very last trade at the end of the day, and that is known as the close. That is the horizontal bar on the right side of this bar. In some cases when a bar chart uh, is set up this way, uh, as it is on this particular case, uh, whenever the uh, bar has a close higher than the previous day's close, in this case our close is here, previous day's close was down here. Whenever that close is uh, higher than the previous close, uh, the bar could be colored. Maybe in this case it's black, but in some cases you will see blue or green. Uh, the main thing is that they will also show you uh, a red bar following if there's a down close. In other words, if this close uh, the following day is actually less than the previous day, the whole bar will be the color red, showing that it's a down close. Your first step in interpreting a bar chart is to identify the direction of the trend. Then look for signs that that trend is either strengthening or weakening. An uptrend is a series of bars with higher highs and higher lows, while a downtrend is a series of bars with lower highs and lower lows. Let's look at an example of an uh, uptrend. Here you will see an uptrend begins where you have a low point here, the following low point is higher, the high point here, and the following high point is even higher. This would be the start of an uptrend. The following candle, or I'm sorry, uh, bar would be the same trend continuing. Note the low point higher than the previous, high point higher than the previous, the uptrend is still in effect. Low point here higher than the previous, high point here higher than the previous. Even though it was a down from the close, the highs and the lows are still trending up, therefore the uptrend is still in effect. Here you have a low point that is higher than the previous, high point that's higher than the previous, the uptrend is still in effect. Low point higher than previous, high point higher than the previous, uptrend remains in effect. Low point here higher than the previous, high point now lower than the previous. The trend is weakening right here. There's something starting to happen right here you need to take note of. At this point, when you start to see something uh, changing in the trend, the stop loss limit that would have been set way back here when you began should be advanced to here to protect all of this uptrend profit that you've made. The uptrend continues to weaken even though you have a new higher high compared to the previous uh, bar here. Uh, you have a lower low as well. Uh, volatility is increasing and you're starting to lose control here of that uptrend. The next candle, or I'm sorry, the next bar uh, shows that the uh, trend is actually reversed and become a downtrend where the uh, low points are lower than the previous and the high points are lower than the previous. This is known as the start of a downtrend. You should already be out of the, of the long uh, trade at this point already stopped out and then you're now potentially have an opportunity to start selling here or shorting uh, with a stop here entry opportunity with this red arrow here the following day we see a higher 
low point and a higher high as though the price activity wants to go long again or uh, back to an uptrend but you'll notice it didn't uh, wasn't able to, to uh, maintain that the following day she broke down following with the downtrend high point lower than the previous low point lower than the previous this continues the following day and the last day on this chart we see that we have a low point continues to be lower than the previous however the high point is higher than the previous this downtrend is very weak it is not able to hold it for very long it started here it broke out here started again here broke out again here so the downtrend is very weak compared to how we saw the uptrend was very strong un unquestioned for a series of one two three four five five days before you started to get into any questioning oftentimes trends are not very clear inside days outside days and borderline days are often signs of uncertainty in a trend here we see an inside day where you have the low point here and a higher low the high point here and a lower high this bar is inside of this bar this is known as an inside day an outside day forms when the high is higher than the previous and the low is lower than the previous this is known as an outside day these two bars are showing uh, uncertainty among traders they don't really know which direction to go with it at that moment we do not have an example on this chart of a borderline day but a borderline day is simply a day in which the highs for two consecutive days are equal or the lows for two consecutive days are equal another way to read a bar chart is to examine the expanding and contracting ranges this is also true for candlestick Expanding ranges in an uptrend signal increased eagerness from buyers and increased eagerness from sellers in a downtrend. Contracting ranges show decreased eagerness. The high minus the low equals each particular bar range. The basic rule here that we're looking for is a lot of volatility or momentum in the uh, direction of the trend. For example, if we look at this particular uh, bar we can see that it's very short comparative to this one. Uh, there's greater degree of uh, expansion or momentum or eagerness to buy from this compared to this, simply because this bar is longer. Here you'll notice as we reach the top of this uptrend that we started to contract. This typically shows um, uncertainty by traders or consolidation period. Another way to look at bar charts is to analyze the closing price of each particular bar. In this particular case you can see that the close is in the upper portion of the bar. This means that buyers or bulls are in control. This continues. Here you'll notice they're starting to let go of that control. When the close is at the lower portion of the bar, sellers or bears are in control of the trend. The daily opening price tends to reflect the view of small buyers and sellers, the public. It is useful as an indicator of the emotional direction of the market. From time to time, it's inevitable you will get conflicting signals. This shows indecision or weakness in the trend. Be on alert for a trend reversal when you see these, but remember the golden rule. Never assume that a trend has ended until there are clear signals that the opposite trend has started. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.